Hi guys, I am back with another 12 by 12 layout. This time I'm going to be using a dark color cardstock and I'm going to be taking this white gesso from the Liquitex brand and I'm just going to be muting out that color. Um, I really want a hazy, not really dark white on the background so I'm going to use my finger to kind of mush that around and give it more of a hazy look um, as opposed to some of those stripy things that you see with a palette knife. So I'm just going to make sure that the white goes around the edge enough and I'll probably put my picture back here in a second to kind of make sure that I have enough white around and I thought I needed a little bit more towards the bottom so I'm going to add just a little bit more with my palette knife and then mush that around and then it's going to give this hazy look. And then next what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some mixed media or some colors from Shimmers and I'm going to add that to the background here as well. This one is called Boogie Boarding Blue or Boogie Borden Blue. This one is Taupe of the World. And then I'm going to be using this one called Broken, no, Tumbled Glass. Tumbled Glass. It's a stain from Tim Holtz. So I'm going to use two of the Shimmers products and then one, um, the Tim Holtz stain. So I started doing it like this and it just wasn't going to work. So I decided just to take the dauber since it has a dauber on the end and just mush it around this way. So much easier than using the packaging technique this time. Um, so I'm going to put that down with the dauber and just kind of stain that white gesso, this blue color. And that's kind of what I wanted it to do. I wanted to make sure that I got some of this color on the background. Um, and then I'm going to use my plastic here just to kind of mush it around a bit more. And then I'll daub some of it up with a paper towel. And the reason I put that gesso down is you wouldn't be able to see the color unless I put that down. So I wanted a couple different colored blues. Um, this creamies here um, is you just add water to the pot and then you can paint it on like a watercolor and I'm just smearing it down on my packaging and then adding it on that way and then also with some splatters. And I just wanted a little bit different shades of blue so it wasn't all just one flat color. So I add that on here like this and then I'm going to keep doing that until I get it the way I like it. And then I'm going to come in with the taupe of the world and then add that as well. It's kind of a grayish silverish color. And I just like the contrast and it matches the little pluses and X's that are on the sheet of paper. So I'm just going to sprinkle that down um, with the, the nozzle part of the um, paint. So I'll just keep playing with that and then once I get this the way I like it I'm going to come in and I'm going to add a cut file over the top of this and it's going to be a cut file that has ampersands all over it and when I add that cut file on you're going to see here in just a second I'm going to feel like it needs a little bit more um, but first I'm going to add a little bit more color I thought that the blue was a little bit too muted and I wanted to add a little bit more contrast to the page so I use this Lindy Stamp Gang spray as well and I really really like that I use this I'm so glad that I did I really like that copper color and I think that has a nice contrast with the blue so I I'm really glad I chose to pull that color out and use that on the layout um, after I finish making a mess here on the, the table and everything else, I'm going to pull that cut file out here and um, put that down. So there's the photo and then the cut file is going to go up underneath it. Oh, sorry, I'm going to trim the photo down first. I have a lot of excess background and some white edges on this photo, so I'm going to trim that out so you don't see that. And then I'm going to add some tissue paper in the back before I go through and do the cut file. So you'll see that in a second. I wanted this to be a little bit more square of a photo. And again, there was some background that it was just kind of um, distracting and I wanted to get rid of that. So I'm going to add this tissue paper. This is just some tissue paper from the dollar store or if it's not from the dollar store, it was just from some packaging that I'd received. Um, I save all of my tissue paper and it seems like I just keep getting more and more of it and never using enough of it so <laughs> I definitely have a lot of tissue paper in my stash and I can tell this is probably from the dollar store because it's a little bit thinner and it doesn't have that kind of shiny sheen that some of the nicer tissue papers have but it's perfect for this I don't really need that shininess for my layout so I just wanted to add a little bit of white around the edges and I kind of fluffed it up a bit just to make it a little more exciting and then here's that ampersand cut file that I said I had um, and I just didn't really like how it was looking there so you're going to see that I'm going to take the same colors of the background and then put that on that as well and then I'm now going to mat my photo with this pink paper and again it just adds a little bit more texture and dimension um, in addition to the tissue paper that I added on and it's going to also help separate the picture from that cut file that's in the background so here is where I decided that I needed to do a little bit more to this it was a little too flat um, I like the color of the cut file but it just was something that needed a little bit more 
oomph, I guess. So I'm going to take all the different colors that I used for the layout and I'm just going to sprinkle these all over the place and then just kind of dry it up and clean up in between the different colors. So you're going to see I'm using that copper color. This is the Lindy Stamp Gang color and just spraying that all over the cut file. Then I'm going to come in and I'm going to pull the Hope of the World and the, uh, I think it is, I think I used the Boogie Board in blue. I don't think I used the Tim Holtz Distress Stain, um, but I used a lot of the other ones. The Tim Holtz Distress Stain was a little bit too hard to manage to get sprinkles out, so I'm just using these instead. So I just use a little bit of a spray bottle to get that to uh, Boogie Boarding Blue um, wet again, and then I'm going to add some of this to my cut file and just make sure I kind of have it all over the place. Um, I like doing it like this because I don't want to add any more color splatters to the actual background itself. So this is a good way to do that without adding any more to the background. So now I'm happy with that. I'm going to glue that all down. And then I believe I add some foam to the back of this to pop it up a bit more on the background. Oh no, I did not do that this time. I normally do, but I didn't do it this time. So I'm just going to glue it straight down to the background. <laughs> Apparently I wanted to hit it really hard too. I really smacked it down. Anyway, now I'm going to be pulling out all of the things I want to embellish with. This is from an old, old, old pink paisley switchboard collection. It has all kinds of old fashioned, kind of like 1950s, I would say, um, icons and things like that. So I really like this telephone in the hello, but I didn't want them as a card like this. So I'm going to fussy cut them out. I'm going to use a telephone in the bottom right hand uh, of the photo and then I'm going to use the hello in the top left. So I'm just fussy cutting these out and then I'm going to stick those in those places and I'm going to add a little bit more to it so um, I'm not going to glue them down quite yet. I'm going to be pulling out this die cut pack here. This, These are all kind of like a, they're acetate pieces and they are cardstock pieces. I'm going to pull a little pink tab and put that over there by the phone. I really like that telephone. It's very cute. I like the little heart on it and I love the fact that it's those rotary dial phones. I I'm not really that old, but I totally had one of these when I was a kid. It wasn't black like this, but it was this like, um, actually, no, I just had one. It was up in my parents' bedroom and it was like this goldenrod yellow color. And when I thought, when I was a kid, I thought it was so cool. I always wanted to call people on that phone because I thought it was neat. Um, so <laughs> we did have one of those for a long time in my parents' bedroom. Um, and then they finally, you know, uh, got an, a newer one, but I just thought that was kind of cool. So I'm sure kids these days would have no clue what that is or even how to use it. Um, but I always thought it was the neatest thing when I was a kid. Anyway, uh, back to the layout. I'm just going through and picking out some more die cuts and pieces that I want to use. I use that little acetate arrow. I'm going to use um, a piece that goes underneath and by, oh no, I have it there already. It's a little striped flag that's by the camera. And I thought that just kind of anchored it down and gave a shelf to that cluster right there. So now I'm just going to take my time and glue all this down. I'm not going to make you watch all of that because that is boring. Um, and I'm really kind of coming to the end of this layout. I want to thank you guys so much for joining me today. I'm going to add these enamel dots and then that is pretty much it. It. I'm going to also add some journaling. If you like the video, please give me a thumbs up. If you haven't already, please subscribe. Um, I am pretty excited that I've been able to get a few more videos up recently because I have not been quite as stressed with work. Some of those situations are getting better and changing. So I'm hoping to have more video content for you um, as we go along throughout the rest of this year. Like I said, thank you guys so much. If you have any questions, leave those in the comments below and I will talk to you again very soon. Have a great day. Bye-bye.